This is Minecraft Trinity, a series inspired by flaming Moai's ultra hardcore generations. In this format, me and my two buddies try to beat the Ender Dragon Wither and Warden. On the way, everyone has one life like normal hardcore, but if somebody dies, they still have a chance. Because if one of us defeats one of the golds, everyone that died on the way gets their life back. We switch about every 15 in-game days and Sukanda started as the Wheel of Faith decided. Next in line is myself and then Professor Fink. Even though their videos are German, I'm sure you'd enjoy them. So make sure to check out the complete Minecraft Trinity playlist and their channels. The first thing I saw when I started was that Professor Fink built a wall and successfully combined a carrot farm with a pig farm. I went inside to check the trinity log on what has happened the past few days. Almost died, learned to hate the world, swore revenge, established communism. Okay, ended communism. Um, well, that uh, was a realistic amount of time found the deep dark okay oh and by the way Tsukanda and I have talked again we'll do one page every five days um enchanting table and nether portal very nice so he went to the nether a bit ah yes he mentioned that this is censored so I'll quickly write what he wrote okay first uh Okay, first thing is expand base, then find diamonds as usual, enchant books, okay. Spread democracy. And lastly, he wants me to stay outside the never. Well, we'll see about that. What is this ugly memorial for your trees? You know what will happen. What? Oh. Oh, okay. Because of the... Okay. Yeah, okay. That's from the communism era. The next thing I did was check our inventory and I was a bit shocked. Sharpness 2? A golden chest plate? I have a bad feeling about our iron resources. So I went down and first sorted the chest once again before I looked at our resources. Why was he walking around without armor and shield? I quickly made some armor and tools as usual and went into the mines. I'll place some stairs. So this has to go and I even think I need to remove two blocks. So I removed one layer while going down and googled the best height for diamonds, which apparently is minus 59. So when I hit Sukanda strip mine, I dug down further until I hit minus 59. On the way, I found some iron and diamonds as well. Not minus 59, but I'll take them. Close, but... Oh. Okay, good. I thought it was only one for a second. As I finally arrived at minus 59, my last iron pickaxe broke, so I went upstairs again and found the enchanting area on the way. Well, this explains the sharpness too, sword. Damn. I made a stone cutter for the stairs and a diamond chest plate and boots. As I went down, I started placing the stairs, which was a bit annoying with all the corners, and I had just enough stairs for the whole way. Then I started strip mining and found some redstone. Nice, we'll definitely need that to build something to cheese the one because I don't see any of us, not even with the professor doing him in a head-on battle. Besides that, I couldn't find anything notable. I decided to do some farming and reunited with one of my alley friends. I placed some doors in a wall and went on a short exploration to gather some sugarcane to craft enough bookshelves to full enchant which was completely useless, as I discovered later on. Back at base, I still made the farm and walked around a bit to look at the pillar of democracy. There I found another two of my missing allies. I lured them home and crafted some leaves to bind them to a fence. I expanded the carrot field a final time and placed fences above the water to tie the alleys onto so they would definitely help collecting carrots. Next on the agenda was to create a bit of chaos. Nestle. You shall let the world burn. 
<laughs> okay. This name was suggested in the comments as Nessie was a pet bird so kinda had in a D&D campaign, which died a pretty tragic death. So this should fit perfectly. Yep, I definitely need to break another block. So again I broke one more layer on my way down to my strip mine. Down there I found some redstone, gold and iron as well as lapis lazuli but there were no diamonds inside. Fuck off, you stupid pickaxe. Uh, last one, and then I need to go back up again. Annoying. I was about to give up, but then... Uh, diamonds! Diamond. Okay. Uh, yeah. So... One diamond is useless. Um, okay, on this side are redstone. Ooh, more diamonds. Alright, let's see. One, two, three, four. What? Five, six, seven. What a weird vein. And my luck didn't stop there. This one seems to be empty. Uh, yep, this is empty. Maybe this side. Uh, hmm. This seems to be empty as well. Oh, oh not lava. Just. <laughs> Ooh! One. at least okay this should be enough to complete the diamond armor why are they all sticking like on top of each other is this normal to find diamonds all clustered together I went back up super fast thanks to the stairs and crafted diamond pants and helmet. Full diamond armor. I'm <laughs> finally useful. Sadly, there isn't more time anymore, so let's quickly update the Trinity log. Um, yeah, that's right, okay. So, days 50 to 55. We did, uh, we went caving. I found my allies again and take them all. I got sugar cane uh, for bookshelves and I made I made a staircase named I named the bird. <laughs> I need the bird. <laughs> Let's see what that will bring. I think I doomed us. Oh wait, I forgot. I expanded the carriage field. And lastly, I made a complete set of diamond armor. Damn. If these weren't successful five days, I don't know what successful five days are. And that's it for this video. It's a bit shorter this time, but I hope you still enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and maybe comment your ideas on how we could defeat the one down below. As a short notice, for those who don't watch the German videos of my two buddies, one of them, Professor Fing, decided to leave the project for now. He might join us later on again, but for now it's only me and Tsukanda. I don't know if we'll add a special rule to balance that later on, but if we do, I'll let you know. That's all for now and I hope to see you in the next one. Dear Plock Enjoyers.